This is my favorite mega number, and it goes back 20 years uh, when I was uh, just discovering that I was a feral mathematician. And at the time, I uh, participated in an online group uh, called Prime Form, which was uh, there was uh, and there was a, a software that they uh, openly developed, PFGW, and it would search for and it allowed you to search for uh, large primes in various forms, and uh, Part of that group uh, was uh, Chris Caldwell, who at the time uh, maintained the database, and I'm sure it's still there, but I haven't been back in a long, long time, uh, the database of the 5,000 largest prime numbers, uh, proven prime numbers, obviously. And uh, so, I mean, that list just grows and grows and grows. But anyway... So at the time, uh, you know, there's all kinds of uh, ways that folks were looking at uh, trying to uh, designate, describe, and find large prime numbers. And I, I uh, took a, 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 at the time, unique approach. Maybe it's still unique, or at least nobody's looking in this way. Uh, but it all starts with, at the time, um, and this is a, a, a little background here. This is... A, you know, maybe uh, could be um, instructive for somebody who's just discovering uh, that they might be a feral mathematician um, and thinks they see a pattern in the primes. Um, and uh, specifically what I'm talking about is uh, primes in a quadratic sequence, most uh, famous of which is probably discovered by Euler, 41, 43... 47, 53, 61, 71, dot, 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 dot. Okay. And anyway, this goes on, and there are um, 40 primes in here before we get to, uh, before we get to uh, 41, somewhere out here we get to 41 squared, and then 41 dot 43. Now, of course, what's happening here is, uh, for any quadratic, you could uh, uh, look at a, a smaller example, like um, 5, 7, so that's uh, plus 2, then plus 4 is 11, plus 6 is then 17, then plus 8 is then 25, 5 squared, and then plus 10 is 35, which is 5 times 7, 35. And uh, to see what's happening here, you, you can look at, uh, at basically the differences. This is quadra a quadratic sequence, so the differences are going to be an arithmetic progression. And it's um, only when this ultimate difference, uh, so, you know, of uh, the second difference is, is 2, that you're going to get this kind of thing where... Uh, you know, if you count this as one, one, two, three, four, the fifth is twenty is five squared, and the uh, uh, the sixth is five times seven, and so it's actually kind of a kind of a cool way to uh, multiply by adding. Uh, you know, basically you can take anything. It doesn't you know don't have to involve primes or anything like that. But if I go say for example four, and then plus two, plus four, plus six plus 8, I'm going to get 4 times 6 is 24 in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5th position. Or if you wanted to just start at this is 0, which is probably a better way to look at it, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you get 4 times 6. So anyway, any, of course, any three um, values, any three distinct uh, integer values is going to give you an integral quadratic equation. It's going to define it fully. Uh, so we can look at f1, f negative 1, f0, and f1, uh, and use those as the three seeds, you know, assign values to these three, and you can derive uh, the, uh, the, the uh, quadratic sequence from that. Okay, so the quadratic formula, you know, the quadratic formula... Uh, uh, fx equals ax squared plus bx plus c that you get from uh, using those three values 
is going to be given by A equals F of negative 1 minus 2 F of 0 plus F of 1 over 2. B is going to be given by F1 minus F of negative 1 over 2. And C, which is just your constant term, is, of course, F0. So, knowing this, and it, the, the thing about these sequences is uh, an interesting thing, uh, or, you know, to, to help see this is to realize, well, no, I mean, not to realize, but to actually write these out as uh, a quadratic out as uh, two arithmetic sequences where you do the dot product of each, of each entry. So, for example, 7, 3, 5, 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7, and uh, here let's go, let's go negative 13, negative 9, negative 5, negative 1, 3, 7, 11, 15. Alright, so this doesn't have zeros in it, but um, negative 91, negative 45, negative 15, negative 1, negative 3, negative 21, negative 55, and negative 70, 105. Okay, so the point being is, is that, notice here we're divisible by 5, and here we're divisible by 5. So, obviously, if, uh, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're divisible by 5 again, and also from this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divisible by 5 again. So, uh, you know, this, this observation of basically that the, uh, you know, primes run adjoint to each other unless they correspond on, you know, uh, you, know you have a, du a, a, a dual, a dual such an, and that, so, um, and, and that's the only way you're going to get a square on a, a quadratic sequence, uh, which uh, relates to, you know, Fermat factoring and finding, uh, finding factors of a number and stuff like that. So it's really uh, quite a, 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 an interesting thing. And also kind of shows that basically the more, you know, you could have, um, you could theoretically, you know, have a prime, uh, a prime number in here on this one anyway, uh, because it doesn't pass through zero on any in integral point. Um, but if there is a, a real or an integer zero along that line on for any quadratic, then that quadratic can only be prime uh, on either side of that zero, or because uh, uh, all all prime factors would run through zero if you had a zero here and a zero here. Um, anyway, long story short, let's get to my favorite mega number. Using this uh, idea, I set up prime form to uh, basically take uh, take my three seed numbers as f you know uh, f negative one, f zero, and f one, and I plugged in I, I plugged them into uh, into this right here. And uh, what I did was I took existing large prime numbers from the um, from the uh, the uh, database of the 5,000 largest, and I would use them as my seeds for a quadratic, and then I would look for the quadratic. So uh, the point I was making here about you know uh, like this like like Euler's you know 41, 43 you know, 47, uh, etc. It looks really impressive with 40 primes in a row, and then if you keep on going, you'll get more primes, but you'll never get uh, as many as 40 again. And in fact, because because the prime factors on each of the arithmetic progressions uh, gets less and less, and the density of primes, uh, you know, goes, uh, goes essentially to zero, uh, on each of the arithmetic progressions, then obviously any quadratic is doomed to, to go to zero in terms of density of of, uh, of prime numbers. So uh, 
But in the early stages, like you could take any two, any two primes, you can get P and look at the sequence P, P, uh, P plus 2, I should say any twin prime, um, and, uh, you know, th that's a good candidate for getting, getting primes early on. Of course, once you get up into mega number territory, it really, nah, it's, it's really not that much. So, so I, uh, so I really wasn't, uh, I mean, at the time I was expecting more, and until I sort of got an appreciation of this, I was expecting better results than I got, but... I'm happy to say that I did get a result, and that is my favorite mega prime number. And it comes from basically F1 or F negative 1 equals 63 times 2 to the 1, 2, 5, 2, 1, 8 plus 1. And f of 0 equals 63 times 2 to the 1, 3, 0, 2, 2, 1, plus 1. And f of 1 equals 63 times 2 to the 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 5, plus 1. And at f of 316, I found my first mega prime number that qualified for the list. At the time, um, it was number 236 on the list, uh, which is not too shabby at the time. Uh, and uh, this uh, basically amounts to 49,141. Boy. I should uh, I shouldn't write without watching what I'm doing. Uh, let me uh, let me abbreviate that even better, even more. Forty nine one forty one dot f negative one oh, minus ninety eight five ninety five dot f of 0 plus 494555.f1 which is equivalent to 3 squared dot 7 dot 23 dot one burp. 193 you think this looks bad you should see all the other stuff I write dot and this is some 1840 digit composite which uh, remains unfactored all dot two to the one, two, five, two, one, eight. Plus all that whole, this product plus one. Which is a prime number with 39,540 digits. My favorite mega prime number. Well, and by favorite I mean the only one of that size I ever found. But I kind of knocked that stuff off. But still, still my favorite. Thank you for watching.